Hello everyone. I just want us to continue with our current unit, which is learning unit number five. Uh, hopefully you studied the previous video. Yes, this is the continuation, so we'll need the prior uh, experience. Without wasting time, how interest and the interest rate really work? If I may ask you this question now, and I say, can I give you 10,000 today or 10,000 in five years? Think about it. What can be your answer? I know we've got different pre uh, preferences, uh, but uh, for me, obviously, I'm going to say 10,000 today. Why 10,000 today is because of the time value of money. Remember this 10,000 in five years, it can worth only 7,000 due to uh, the developments in the market. We've got the inflation, we've got the, the devaluation of money, etc., etc. So it is uh, it's important for you to have money today like what in the future okay because you can use it today to invest for the future unlike if you wait for five years and that money is only equivalent of seven thousand can you see you can have it now invest it now in after five years you can have this ten thousand and the interest in the future why is time such an important element in your decision we normally say time is money. It is true. Time is very much important. The importance of time. You need to respect time. It's very significant. Time allows you the opportunity to postpone consumption and earn interest. Can you see now? So in other words, if you have got 50,000 now, yes, sometimes we buy property as a good investment. Sometimes people decide to just buy cars, even though they don't need them. Why don't you just invest this money so that after seven years, you are going to have that money together with the interest? So that's why time is very much important. When you invest, obviously, you expect something in return. We invest because we need interest on our investments okay but we need to be able to differentiate dif between different types of interests we've got simple interests and the other interest is called compound interest of which i will still have to explain thereafter the simple interest is the interest end only on the original amount you will see that when you invest money you invest money and that money is called a principal or the present value. So when we calculate this simple interest, our interest is gonna be based on the original. In other words, if I invested 10,000 and at 10%, so my 10% will be based on what? 10,000 in year one, in year two, in year three. So it doesn't change, it is fixed on that particular amount of money. But I'm gonna show you with uh, uh, an example. So this formula is very much important. Simple interest. Remember, interest. If you want to find the interest in the form of an amount, okay, I'll say P multiplied by R multiplied by T. P stands for the principal amount, the present value, the amount that I have at my disposal. R stands for the rate of interest, for example, 10%. 20%, 50%. T stands for the number of periods. Can be a number of years, number of months, number of days. Can you see? So sometimes saying T is the N is the number of periods. Let's take this example. Here we've got a guy by the name of Know It All. Know It All invested a thousand at a simple interest of 20% per annum. 
This is very much important. It is per annum for three years. Please calculate the interest for each year. So I want to know how much will be the interest for each year, for three years, by using a simple interest of 20%. Year one, as you can see year one, the original amount, which is the principal, is what? Is a thousand. The R, which is the interest rate, is 20%. And T is what? One year. So because I'm showing you a year by year, so that's why here I say year one is one. So the answer is how much? 200. Let's see year two. Can you see year two is still the same? Remember when I was explaining from the beginning, I said the interest rate is based on the original amount. The original amount invested was what? 1,000. 1,000. That's why here again I still have 1,000, 20% one year. Why do I say one year? Because I'm focusing on each year. Can you see? What about year three? Again, as you can see, same calculation. All in all, how much is it? It's 600. 200 plus 200 plus 200. Or we should have said 1,000 times 10% times three years. We still get what? 600. So what I'm trying to show you that is that the interest is based on the original amount of money. The amount of interest is fixed per year for three years. This is 200, 200, 200. This 200 can only change if that particular year has got less than 12 months. For example, let's say during year three, we only had six months. So for 200, I was supposed to multiply this by six over 12. Can you see now? So, but because here I had three full years, that's why the interest remains constant like that. Sometimes they can ask you to find the principal instead of finding what? The interest. By the way, the principal we meant, we mean the present value. For example, how much did Mr. Know It All invest? Can you see? Meaning I need the principal. If the investment period was two years and the simple interest rate was 20 years per annum and the interest end was 210. So here I need to find my present value. Here is the formula. The present value is equals the interest in the form of an amount divided by the rate of interest times T, which is the number of years. Let's substitute. Can you see? Interest is this 210. R is 20%. I just put it in the form of a decimal. It's the same. Remember when we did decimals we we learned how to convert 20 percent to a decimal uh, t is the number of years as you can see two years so when you calculate can you see now the answer is 525 this means that 525 was invested was the principal amount of money that's why they got what 210 rents as an interest What if they say they want us to find the value of T, which is the number of periods? For example, we've got Mr. Know It All again. He invested 3,000 at a simple interest rate of 10% per annum to earn an interest of how much? 300. For how long did he invest? Meaning I'm looking for the number of periods or the number of years. Okay? The formula says T, as you can see, T equals 300 is the interest itself. And then 3,000 is the investment. And 10%, as you can see here, is 0 0.10. So first of how long did it take? One year. Can you see? So you must start with the formula here. Okay, always start with the formula. So this formula is very much important. As you can see, the interest P times R. So the interest is 300. P is the uh, principal is 3,000 times 10%. And when you solve it, you get what? One year. So they invested it for one year. Okay. So what about when they say you must find the rate now? Again, you just have to rearrange the formula. Again here, Mr. Know It All invested 4,000 for five years to earn simple interest of 1,500. 
please calculate what? The interest rate. Again, the formula is very much important. R equals interest in the form of an amount, P, which is the principal, times T, the number of years. Let's substitute. Can you see? The interest is 1,005. The initial amount is 4,000. Number of years, 5, 000, uh, 5 years. Now, can you see? Try to solve it. Now, R is equals to 0 0.25. This is a decimal. Remember, we need a rate in the form of a percentage. Just multiply it by 100, and you get how many percent? 2.5 percent. Please make sure that you go through this calculation. Now let's focus on the compound interest. A compound interest and on any previous interest end as well as on the principal of the amount, the principal amount. This means it's where we get interest on interest. I'll show you with an example without wasting time. Now, we have got Mr. Know it all invested 1000 at a compound interest can you see compound interest of what of 20 percent per annum for three years please calculate the interest for each year okay so this is how we're going to calculate the interest the first year will be the same as what as the symbol interest can you see now so we've got a thousand uh, the rate of interest is what is 20 percent Okay, and then thereafter, we are going to multiply by what? By one year, okay, which is how much? 200. But let's check the year two. So this, from year two, this will differ from what? Will differ from uh, the simple interest. Year two, let's check. Can you see year two? What must we do? We say the principal amount of 1,000, but previous interest. Can you see now? Now, how much is the investment in year two? 1,200. And now, 1,200 times 20% times one year. So we get what? 240. Can you see the interest changed because the initial amount was increased by the interest? So in year two, we have got a higher present value. Let's check year three. Can you see year three? The amount from the previous year was 1,200, but I made interest of what? 240. Now, 1,200 plus the previous interest, which is how much? 1,440. Multiply by 20%. Can you see the interest keeps going up? So that's why we call this a compound interest. You get the interest on interest plus what? the initial amount or the principal amount or the present value. Please make sure that you know how to calculate this, okay? This is just a, 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 a simple calculations. You will see as the uh, section continues, um, there are formulas where we can just use, especially for the compound uh, uh, calculations, where we can just find the present values, where we can find, uh, find the future values. But for now, I'm just focusing on the interest themselves. Okay, so the total all in all is how much? Is 720, 200 plus 240 plus 288. Eight. We can just double check my calculations whether it's correct. But if it's not correct, please make sure that you correct it, okay? I got 720 here. I'm not sure if it will be 720 or not. But yeah, just make sure that you get the correct answer. If it's not 720, please bear with me. I was just using my calculator and you know lockdown is has got an effect on us but this total must be 200 plus 240 plus 288 okay i hope that all is well now so you practice more please go and double check my 720 whether it's correct or not okay i think maybe 728 yeah i think i missed eight here yeah. it must be seven 28. If I'm not mistaken, let me just double check. But please make sure that you practice, practice, practice so that things can make sense. Okay. Let me double check my, my calculation. It's 728. I think I missed my 
zero here this must be 7 28 i'm gonna change it here okay that is the total so please make sure that you know how to calculate this one 7 28 hoping that everyone understands and then make sure that you practice guys so i will see you with the next video so for now please go through this video and hopefully that guys it makes sense thank you very much and then i'll see you later with another video please take care and then study hard